The Burlington Air Park is an essential part of the city. It is frequently used for training, patient and organ donation transport, and emergency services. In recent years, however, it has become a source of controversy due to the fill that has been brought in in order to expand the air park. Although a Ministry of the Environment study claims there is no health risk due to groundwater contamination, the city still has many concerns over the issue. The key issue for the city, and it's really uh, bigger than the city, it's a provincial, even a national issue, is the city's right to enforce our site alteration bylaw. So they've brought in an enormous amount of fill uh, without a permit. Over 500,000 cubic meters of fill from 2008 to 2014, according to the city's website. The issue has gone to court twice, before the Superior Court of Ontario and the Court of Appeal for Ontario, both of which upheld the city's claims. Despite this, no site alteration permit was obtained by the air park. As a result, the City of Burlington applied to the Ontario Superior Court of Justice to compel the air park to submit an application for a permit. On May 21, 2015, the Burlington Air Park brought a motion before the court to remove portions from a City of Burlington affidavit supporting the application. The air park claimed that the paragraphs contained an improper reference to without prejudice discussions between the city and the air park. The motion was granted, the paragraphs were removed, and $3,500 in costs were granted to the Burlington Air Park. The court date to hear the city's application was then changed from May 28th to November 10th in order to have sufficient time to hear the city's application and a notice of constitutional question filed by Burlington Air Park challenging the constitutional validity of the city's site alteration bylaw. The decision from that hearing is expected to be handed down in the very near future. So I wrote about this in my newsletter to let people know that I think this is one of the major things, uh, the decision will be one of the major issues coming back for the community. It will be a game changer, not just for us, but for the whole country, because this has been an area of very cloudy jurisdiction where importing landfill has happened in many other uh, airport, municipal airports or other airports uh, across the country, and uh, airports always claimed immunity to any, um, any other level of government control or oversight. And the reason for the cloudiness is that aeronautics is a federally regulated activity, whereas site alteration is controlled at the municipal level. And because we live in Canada, the decision in this case is likely to set a legal precedent. If the uh, judge agrees with the two lower court rulings, and I do have every confidence that that will be the decision, it means that uh, you know where an activity like site alteration falls under municipal control, the municipality has the right, even at an air park, which is a federally regulated area, even at an air park to enforce that. Because the federal government does not want to get into the business of controlling site alteration. We'll be continuing to monitor this case as it unfolds and the anticipated decision is received. If you'd like more information about the air park dispute, visit burlington.ca slash airpark. For Halton Insider, I'm James Spaulding.